so there's always a downside to everything, you know. I'm feeling it a little bit, like... Well, folks, we're out for a, another Sunday ride, and uh, we're going to be looking at a slightly new route I discovered yesterday when I was out testing uh, the photochromatic shield on this uh, Shoei RF 4 1400. Uh, Donna's on the back, of course, and uh, she's also wearing the old photochromatic shield from my RF 1200. We'll see how that works out. Oh, nice, nice lane change, buddy. Hmm. How's it feel so far, Donna? Okay. Um, what? Feels a little bit hot. Oh, you do feel a little bit hot. Donna's testing this skull cap that we bought uh, from Cycle Gear. Uh, I'm going to close the front, the lower vent on my on my helmet and see if that makes an, um, a difference with the uh, sound quality from my helmet. So I've got I've got the uh, chin vent closed. Uh, why don't you do that too, Donna? Let's see if we can. I don't think it's going to, um, you know, harm your cooling in your helmet that much because most of the cooling in your helmet is going to come from your you know the, the, the vents at the top the chin vent uh, is, is basically for clearing the visor and on, a, and on a hot day like today temperature right now is 84 uh, hot and humid <laughs> uh, it, it shouldn't make that much of a difference Yeah, I was saying that the uh, the cap, the skull cap is going to, you know, I mean, it's an extra layer there, so it is going to add a little bit of warmth. junction now we're going to be turning right There are some nice houses along this uh, on this route as well, and uh, 
kind of surprising because it looks like farm country. But hey, people who own ranches have money. Yeah. Clearly. When you look at some of them, clearly some of them aren't well off, but some of them appear to be quite, you know, rich. Like you got a lot of areas like this. You got an old RV or well, this one's got a house, but it's got RVs in, in the front yard, so... And then this one here doesn't look all that fancy. <laughs> Oops, bump. And then you're riding in the woods like here. Kind of nice. pines here. What's this guy doing? I wish they would signal, you know, these people. How's your visor, uh, your photochromic visor working out, Donna? Pretty good. Pretty good, eh? Yeah. Ooh, twisties! houses here. Some people hanging out their laundry on the fence. Kind of tacky. And I don't know what this is. Looks like some kind of a... Oh, this is the All Ranch, maybe? No, no, all right. This is an equestrian. So all the horses come here to do all of their jumps and stuff. See? And the people have to bring the horses somehow, so they come with all the horse trailers. Ooh. Oh, Wisteria. The other side of the street called Wisteria. I don't know if it's lame, but... Is that some significance? Wisteria? Yeah. You saw Wisteria before? Wisteria the lane. That's where all the housewives came. Oh, oh. What was that show called? Desperate Housewives? Yeah, on Wisteria Lane. Ah. Well, I don't think it was here. <laughs> Bushy Creek. I guess it's too many bush, too many bushes there to see Bushy Creek, and somebody with a wheelchair lives in there. They have a an RV right there on the, mm -hmm. side of the road. So 
so I think I have to turn right here. I think that's what I did because um, the sun is to the east, kind of. Trying to remember the route that I took yesterday, and I think I did turn here, yeah. Robin Hood. And you're going to be passing through like Sherwood Forest. Thank you. Yeah, in Gondola Point, in just outside of St. John, New Brunswick. King Richards. Nottingham. Canterbury Nothing come again Yeah Hmm Mm-hmm I went straight What did we live on? Allendale Allendale Mm -hmm. Went over this little bridge yesterday, and so I know I'm on the same route so far. Sherwood Green. Uh, somebody's got a toilet in their front yard. A, a toilet, a, a toilet bowl. <laughs> yeah, when you live out in the country, you get all kinds of interesting things. Now, I think I turned right here. I didn't see anything with car or truck either. No. Lakeside, and you're gonna, we're gonna pass a little lake, which looks actually like a pond. So I don't know if that name is because of that little pond, but it's not really a lake. It's going to be on your right. It's coming up right now. There it is. Pond. Yes, I think I turned right. If I turned right here, next time I'll have to turn left. There's beautiful oaks here, eh? What do you think of this route so far? Yeah, it's nice. I didn't, I didn't like going around in circles. No. But I mean, even so, you could be going around in circles in a worse place. Yeah. It just it wasn't the best way for me to be riding. Yeah. Look, look at this kind of golf course here. Ooh. This is a golf course? Hagar, 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 Hagar. We yeah, have... Three. Hmm? Uh oh, I am going wrong.
But we're back in Harris County. Yeah, yeah, the 2920 is right ahead. Back to that same junction. I don't know what's straight. One of these days I'll check it out. Next time you should go on the other road that you came out on. Road yes. Today and turn well. to the <laughs> Yeah, that's a good suggestion. This tracer does run very nice with two people on it. It's a very good sport touring bike. Anyway guys, uh, if you were following along for this uh, Sunday drive, hope you enjoyed what you saw and I hope that the footage and the audio turns out right. So until I see you in the next video, keep the shiny side up, take care, stay safe, say bye Donna.